This hybrid electric plane can take off in just 150 feet. Imagine the possibilities. Today, we'll explore the groundbreaking advancements in aviation with Electra's new aircraft, the EL-9. What new ways will Electra create for us to travel directly from one place to another with this cool new plane? Welcome to the channel. Electra has recently stirred things up in the aviation world with the launch of its new hybrid electric aircraft, the EL-9. This nine-passenger plane can take off in an impressive distance of just 150 feet. Mark Allen, the CEO of Electra, highlighted that this isn't some far-off idea. It's a real product that aims to change how we think about flying. The EL-9 can take off from a space as small as a soccer field, making it perfect for spots with short runways. It has a solid range of 1,100 nautical miles, which is about 1,265 miles. When cruising, it can hit speeds of up to 175 knots, or around 201 miles per hour. For landing, it can come in at speeds as low as 35 knots, so it can land safely in tight areas. This aircraft is loaded with cool tech. It has distributed electric propulsion, which means there are eight motors, four on each wing. These motors get their power from a Safran TG600 turbo generator, which helps recharge the batteries while flying. Plus, it has four independent battery packs tucked away in its belly, so it can run smoothly without needing a lot of charging stations on the ground. One of the coolest features of the EL-9 is its blown wing technology. This design boosts airflow over the wings, helping it lift off at slower speeds compared to regular planes. This makes for safer and more controlled takeoffs and landings, especially in shorter spaces. The EL-9 is all about versatility. It can carry up to nine passengers and their bags, or haul up to 3,000 pounds of cargo. For passenger flights, it can travel around 330 nautical miles, which is about 380 miles. This makes it a great option for regional travel, connecting smaller airports that bigger airlines often miss. Electra is aiming to launch in 2029, with flight testing kicking off as early as 2027. The team is working hard to navigate the certification process under FAA Part 23, which covers flying and instrument flight rules or IFR conditions and into known icing. By choosing a more traditional fixed-wing design, Electra hopes to lower certification risks, making it easier to bring the EL-9 to market. The buzz around the EL-9 is exciting, with Electra already receiving provisional orders for over 2,100 units, which could lead to an impressive $8 billion in potential revenue. They've started accepting deposits, letting customers secure their spot in line for delivery. Among the 52 customers are well-known names like JSX and Jet Set Go, both eager to join this aviation revolution. Electra's vision goes beyond the EL-9. They want to create what they call direct aviation, which means enabling point-to-point -point travel to places like parking lots, heliports, and small regional airports. On top of that, Electra is looking into military applications for the EL-9. They've received support from various government programs, including partnerships with the U.S. Army, Air Force, and Navy. Recently, NASA tapped Electra to lead a group focused on developing technologies for the next generation of commercial airliners. Mark Allen highlights that Electra is starting small with the EL-9, but the tech and vision are set up to scale up to larger aircraft down the road. They've already tested their earlier prototype, the two-seat EL-2 Goldfinch, which has logged about 60 flight hours. This prototype has been key in proving the technologies that will be used in the EL-9. With all these advancements and support from major investors like Lockheed Martin Ventures and Honeywell, Electra is ready to make a big impact on the future of aviation. The EL-9 isn't just another aircraft, it's a step toward a new era of air travel that promises to be more accessible and environmentally friendly. What do you think about Electra's EL-9 being able to take off in just 150 feet? Do you believe its blown wing technology will make flying safer and more efficient? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our related video on Battery Breakthrough, how Auto Flight and CATL are redefining EV toll range. Click here to check it out.